Fox News alert now. Uh, new calls that dismantled the NSA's phone records program. An independent watchdog group, it is called, says the surveillance program is illegal and provides only minimal benefits in counterterrorism. What does Peter King think about that? New York Congressman, Chairman of the Homeland Security Subcommittee on Counterintelligence and Terrorism. And, sir, good morning to you there uh, in Long Island. I know you like this up. program. You support it. Right. You come on TV all the time, including this program, and defend it. What would you say to that, um, that conclusion to get rid of it? Yeah, I would disagree with that very strongly. And I would point out that there's been 38 court decisions and 17 federal judges have said that the program is legal and it is constitutional. And even this uh, privacy board, I think they've gone beyond their jurisdiction because as far as privacy, I'm not aware of any abuse that they found. They went off into the question of whether or not it com uh, Section 215 of the Patriot Act allows this to go on. Even this board didn't say it's unconstitutional. They said it violates the statute. I don't see how that becomes their jurisdiction to decide a statute. You know, that's for the courts. And you have two administrations here. You have everyone from George Bush and Dick Cheney and Michael McKenzie and General Hayden to uh, President Obama all saying that this program is essential. So, uh, again, you know, nothing would, in this um, opinion is yeah, going to change my uh, mind. It would appear that public opinion is moving contrary to, to what you believe. And, yeah. and really what the president has backed up. Our polling that came out last night asked the question whether or not uh, you're glad the NSA program went public. That despite, you know, whatever you think of Ed Snowden and what he did, 68 percent. That's an overwhelming majority say yes, they are. Yeah, and I, again, I, I think that's a serious mistake. I understand why they may feel that way, because uh, probably many of them think that the NSA is listening to their phone calls or is reading their emails. They're not aware of all the privacy uh, uh, controls that are put in there. So uh, to me, it's up to those of us in public life, even if something is unpopular, to keep speaking out for what we think is, is valid. And again, when you see this cross-section of everyone from Dick Cheney to President Obama, and to me, a constitutional expert like Michael McKenzie supporting it. Uh, and from what I've seen, I stand by its effectiveness, uh, cases it's been very effective in. And I don't know where, where else we would go uh, to find this information. If we do get a terrorist phone number from overseas, how are we going to track that into the U.S. Right, right, if but we don't even have this people, repository people are of not, numbers? I apologize for the interruption, but people are not convinced of that opinion either. Uh, our polling again, when we ask them whether or not this program is more likely to, to catch terrorists or hurt Americans, look at that. I mean, you're at 50%. Um, where it's uh, more than likely to catch terrorists, but 44, only six points behind, believe it's designed to hurt Americans. Back up your yeah. opinion about how the NSA program is catching, preventing, and thwarting terrorists. Okay, let me just say, assume for the moment that it has not caught any terrorists. I believe it has. Let's say it has not. I'm saying if you, if you do get a number from overseas and you know that that's, that person is going to be contacting someone in the U.S., how are you going to find out unless you have this repository of numbers? Now, one case in particular, and I know Martha and I have gone back and forth, is on the Zazi case in New York. Under the Zazi case, this was in 2009, the liquid bombing explosive attack on, on the New York City subway system. Under Section 702 of the Patriot Act, this is from overseas, we found out that Zazi was involved. Then going to 215C, which is where all these numbers are concerned, that's how we found his accomplice, who is now doing a life, uh, a life term in prison a life sentence in prison because he was found under Section 215C of the Patriot Act. And there's any number of other cases where this is used to either minimize or maximize the nature of the case. Last year when we had the threats at the American embassies overseas, by tracking uh, those phone numbers we had overseas, we learned that it did not involve an attack here in the United States. So we could focus okay. our attention overseas. Okay. Now, I appreciate the defense, you know, and thank you right. for sharing that with me and our viewers. But one more question on this. Sure. In the 30 seconds I have left, would you accept any revision to the program the way it is set up now? Yeah, for instance, uh, this board is calling for, uh, I think, scaling back the uh, number of years that, uh, that the uh, uh, data should be held from five years to three. My understanding is that that, you know, that could be done. Uh, what the president suggested last week as far as having this advisory board, so long as they're not involved in every mechanic of every case, I think that, that serves a purpose. So, yeah, I mean, there's always room for improvement and, and, and for refinement. I just think that we have to maintain the guts of the program. Peter King, thank you. Bill, thank you. Stay warm in West Babylon, sir, and more coming up on okay, this as thank well. You. Thank you, sir, very thank much. Thank you, Bill. Martha, thank you.